I am joined by another uh, member of our Progressive Caucus, uh, another freshman member who brings good common sense and as a former teacher, good educational sense to this body uh, all too often. Uh, it is my uh, opportunity to yield some time to my colleague, uh, Representative Mark Ticano from the great state of California. I thank the gentleman from Wisconsin, and I rise today to object to this government shutdown that has been orchestrated and carried out by the House Republicans and the Tea Party. Before I came to Congress, yes, um, as the gentleman uh, has said, I worked for over 20 years as a high school teacher, and I have to say, during these last few days, I've begun to wonder if my students in Riverside County had a better understanding of how our government, uh, a better understanding of how our government works and how it should function than the House Republicans. Forty-six times the House Republicans have voted to repeal or defund the Affordable Care Act. They're doing this as if they believe the majority in the Senate, which fought to create the Affordable Care Act, would vote for its repeal. They're doing this as if they believe the President would actually sign legislation reversing his crowning achievement. That's not how our government works. There are three branches of government in this country, and any high school senior can tell you that the only way a bill can become a law is if it is passed by the House, passed by the Senate, and signed into law by the President. So now the Republican Party has resorted to hurting everyday Americans, forcing the government to shut down, and furlough hundreds of thousands of workers so they can get what they want. Now, 18 times the Senate attempted to send negotiators to the House to get an agreement on a budget. And now, because of the House Republican delay tactics, we've run out of time and passed the date to keep the government open. They've taken this moment of crisis to exercise political leverage in the most irresponsible manner. Now, I, I can appreciate my colleagues, my Republican colleagues' passions and their views on government, their worldview, but their passions are mil misplaced, ill-timed, and inappropriate. They want to display those passions and undo a law at a time when Americans will be harmed by their tactics. What makes Americans so angry is when they see members of Congress so eager to hurt our country to achieve their political ends. Now let's say that our positions were flipped, that the Republicans had the Senate and the presidency and the Democrats had the House. What if the Democrats said, well, we don't want a government shutdown, but unless the Senate passes um, and the president signs immigration reform into law, that's what we'll do. Or how about if how about if uh, we were to say uh, we're against furloughing hundreds of thousands of workers, but unless the Senate passes and the President signs an assault weapons ban, we'll do just that. And what about, you know, we could, we could say unless the Senate passes and the President signs uh, into law, the public option uh, will shut down the government. Now, I know our friends on the other side of the aisle would never allow such tactics to stand. So, now the House Republicans are trying a piecemeal approach, attempting to fund the government one agency at a time. Now this is no way to run a government either. This is just legislative public relations. This is Speaker Boehner and the House Republicans reacting to the bad headlines they've received in the last few days. The press has been criticizing this shutdown for how it's harmed our veterans. So what's the answer for the Republicans? Introduce a bill that funds only veterans programs. The press has exposed the tragedy of this shutdown ending clinical trials for kids with cancer. So what's their solution? Introduce a bill that funds only clinical trials. The press has shown how insulting it is to our greatest generation uh, when they have been locked out of the Washington, D.C. World War II Memorial. So what do Republicans do? Introduce a bill that funds only parks and monuments. This is not governing. This is damage control. 
The actions by the House Republicans are absurd and reprehensible. The House Republicans are pitting American against American for political gain. Do they think that a veteran would want his benefits at the expense of his grandchild's education? Do they think that poor children should go to sleep hungry so the National Park in their district can open? One half of one House of Congress of one branch of government should not get to make such outrageous demands. And to make things worse, there are reasonable Republicans, as the gentleman from Wisconsin has just demonstrated, Republicans who know this is wrong. Republicans that have stopped me in the hall and told me how Ted Cruz has put them into a political conundrum. Even Grover Norquist said, uh, has said, Ted Cruz has, and I quote, pushed House Republicans into traffic and wandered away. Eighteen House Republicans have publicly stated that they would support a clean CR. Let's end the GOP shutdown. Let's bring sanity back to Congress and pass a clean CR that will put Americans back to work and restore funding to the countless programs that they rely on. Thank you, and I yield back to the